Uh, welcome to module three, which will uh, treat location interoperability. Um, maybe uh, first, a very simple introduction. If we speak about interoperability, it is all about interconnecting. Um, the typical example we can give is from uh, what we uh, all know when we go and travel. We need these adapters uh, to connect to any other uh, electricity system. Uh, for example, the plugs of Belgium will not fit in the UK or US plugs, etc. So we need converters to do that. Uh, so uh, our system or our computer uh, should be able to speak to the uh, electricity system in those other countries. Uh, you can also symbolically uh, look at interconnection of roads. When you build roads, you need to do it in such a way that where it interconnects, in this case, the bridge, it's not a real case, of course, uh, if you do not manage to interoperate or connect different pieces of the road, for example, cross-border, then you have a disruption and you can't have traffic, um, of course. Uh, what are the learning objectives for this module? So after this course, you will be able, on the one hand, to define and explain what interoperability means, and then also to provide some examples from daily life. You will be also able to identify and explain the major principles of the European Interoperability Framework, the IFE, and provide also some examples of IFE interoperability tools. And then the third uh, objective is that you are able to illustrate with some examples, the challenges for reaching location interoperability from different perspectives, the legal, organizational, semantic and technical perspectives. So the structure of uh, this course is quite simple. There are two chapters. Uh, the first chapter will uh, focus on the European interoperability framework, uh, which is the kind of general setting also for what is then explained in chapter two, uh, uh, focusing on location interoperability. So uh, that will be uh, this module.